Okay, hello everybody. We're so excited to be able to share some wonderful music with you today. Um, I know times are difficult in lockdown, but um, what a better time than to share lovely music with all of you wonderful families out there. Um, so yes, I'm a pianist myself. My name's Lucy Murphy. Um, this is James Fountain. He's going to play trumpet and another instrument as well. <laughs> yeah, um, so we've got a couple of uh, pieces for you. We're going to do two together. Lucy's going to play one on her own as well. Um, the first one I think we're going to do um, is going to be on an instrument called the flugelhorn, which is quite a mellow sounding instrument. Um, you'll see the difference, hopefully, because the next piece that I'll play will be on the trumpet, which is a bit brighter. So hopefully you'll hear the difference. Um, the first piece we're going to play, I'm sure you'll recognise it, it's um, When She Loved Me from Walt Disney's Toy Story 2. So if any of you have seen that film, um, I'm sure you're gonna like it. It's a very sad song, but it's very beautiful. Um, the next one we're gonna play together is a French song. Um, it's very, very beautiful as well, you'll like it. And then I'm gonna play a Chopin Waltz on my own to finish it off. Um, with that being said, we're gonna start. So we're gonna start with the Toy Story. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much guys, that was our first piece, um, we really hope you enjoyed it. We're now going to move on to our lovely French song. So I want you all to imagine that we're all in Paris right now, walking down the streets with our care in the world. <laughs> I want you to try and pronounce it please. Okay, the, the, <laughs> it's a bit, I'm not a French speaker. Si tu vois ma mère. Oh lovely. Something about Surely. my mother. <laughs> um, we're going to give it a go anyway. Okay. And what trumpet? Oh, you're using a trumpet now. 
Yeah, so very this is the trumpet. B flat trumpet. It's very different to the flugelhorn. Um, hopefully you'll hear a difference in the sound. Okay, guys, that was our second piece. And um, we hope you liked it. And um, with you see, yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I've just had a, a really helpful text. Sorry to interrupt. Um, is yeah. that, have you checked your audio settings to stop oh. the compression? Um, I'm going to tell everybody as we speak. So apologies to the audience. You go to the audio settings, the little arrow beside the mic icon, open it mm. and uncheck the box labeled automatically adjust microphone volume. This stops the app doing automatic compression. So we're causing a slight dropout with the trumpet. Oh, I see. So if you set the I'm recording on my... volume yourself, then you should be fine. I'm recording on my phone, so I think it might be, that might be just on laptops that okay. Maybe, that is. yeah, maybe the trumpet could come a little closer. Um, Sandy, if you want to comment, please do. Uh, <laughs> it's on the, um, Lucy, sounds great by the way. Oh. It's on your, well, there might not be time, but I've got a little, um, on, on, the, on the app. I've yeah. Got, I've got the audio settings. Um, let me see. See, all I can see, I've got more. I've got meeting settings, um, but that's the only settings thing that I have. Okay. So I can't see any audio settings not, on it. Not great. It makes it sound slightly better. If other people are are on laptops, they can do that. Nice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, to be honest, the next piece is um, just a piano piece anyway. So great. It might work. There we go, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It sounded beautiful, and I don't think I was in Paris briefly, so thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Over to you, Lucy. Perfect, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish off with a Chopin waltz, um, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me just get it up. One second. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, guys. Smiling faces. And I am going to play the bassoon for you this afternoon. Hopefully, you can all see this marvelous instrument here with all of these keys all over it. And it's called the bassoon, in case you haven't seen one before. I'm going to start off by playing you two very, very short little pieces. And you could imagine that there's some different animals, perhaps. If you want, I'd love to see people dancing around. If you want, you can bounce around with the first one. The first one sounds a bit like a kangaroo bouncing up and down, maybe. And then the second one is kind of like a little scuffling spider going all around. So they're both quite speedy. Here you go. <laughs> So this instrument was invented about 350 years ago. In very <laughs> it looked a bit different. It used to look like one of these when it was very first invented the whole 350 years ago. But I'm going to play you this piece on my normal bassoon just so I don't get confused. It's another really bouncy one and we don't know who wrote this one. The last one was written by a man called Gordon Jacob, but this one, we don't know who wrote it because they forgot to write their name on the music, which is a bit silly. But it's a lovely, lovely, bouncy piece of music again. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, wonderful, okay. absolutely okay. wonderful. <laughs> okay, oh, you can carry cool. on. Um, so I'll play some more, and this is going to be Mozart right now. And um, yeah, just see, compare, and how is it different?
And he uses instruments to represent the different characters in the story. And one of the characters is the cat, and it's played by the clarinet. So I'm going to play you this piece now, and I want you to pretend you're little cats running around climbing up trees. Let's see. <laughs> enjoy that. That was fun, wasn't it? I hope you were all running around like little cats. Right, the next piece is a piece that I also love very, very much. And it's by an Italian composer called Mangani. He's not very well known. And this piece is called Pagina d'album, which means page from a photo book album. And it's, it's a, quite a slow piece, and when I listen to it, it makes me want to dance around the room slowly, and it also makes me a little bit sad. I wonder how it's going to make you feel. Maybe you can tell me after I play it.
was a little bit sad, wasn't it? problem I know. Thank you. Now I can move on. Okay, the last piece to end on a happy note. Uh, this is a very happy, upbeat piece of music. It's called Odessa Bulgar and it's a traditional klezmer piece. And klezmer music is traditional Jewish music from Eastern Europe. And you can all stand up now and have a dance. And if you have some drums, get some drums, get some pans going, you know, join in, have fun, and we can all dance together. Ready? <laughs> the camera doesn't fit in the screen see what you think I think I'm gonna to have to stand back a little bit here so I'm now going to play a little bit of music and the exciting thing is that um, I'm just going to make it up but I've got a couple of ideas and because this is a really big string instrument as we've said um, <clears throat> it plays very low notes so why don't I play you some notes first I love playing the double bass. In fact, I used to play the violin like Gosha. Hi, Gosha. Uh, but I um, graduated towards the double bass. But I'm just going to use my hands to play the double bass. Uh, sometimes you can use a bow to make the sound a bit like Gosha did on the violin. But I'm just going to use my fingers, um, what we call pizzicato. So because I'm going to play two pieces that I'm going to make up for you. And <clears throat> because the double bass is big and heavy, I think I'm going to start with the piece maybe a little bit on the more serious side. You know when you get out of bed and you think, you know, I'm not in a very good mood today. Music, we say, we've got the blues. So this is the birds, little bird song blues. So, um, it's going to be a little bit sad, but then I'll play something happy after that.
Uh, shall I uh, play one more piece, Emma? I feel really, I feel really bad that I don't want to make everybody feel upset. It's sad. Oh no, you won't. Bye, bye, blues. Let's say bye, bye to the blues. And let's do it. So as you notice, this instrument is low. But I hope that um, you feel you'll be able to dance a little bit to the bass as well, because it's a bit like a drum, don't you think? Um, I promise you something happy now. So why this is a this is a piece that we can dance a bit a bit more fast to. And I'm just going to make up a little tune which goes over this. But let's start with a kind of warm-up dance. Can we answer that? Thank you. 